morning students. I hope you all are fit and fine and safe at your home. So, today we are going to revise our topic that is has and have. As you already know that we have already done this topic in our class as well as in our previous video also. So, but as you all know, recapitulation is must na. So, today we will revise our topic has and have. Now, as you all know that who all are the friends of has? Everyone tell me who all are the friends of has? Yes, there are three friends of has. He, she, it. He, she, it. When we are talking about only one person, one thing, one animal, then we will use has. When we are talking about only one person, one thing or one animal, then we will use has. For example, Ram has a pencil. Ram has a pencil. So here we are talking about only one person, uh, Ram. So that is why we have used has. Ram has a pencil. Now who all are the friends of have? Everyone remember? Who all are the friends of have? Yes, you are absolutely right. The friends of have are I, we, they, you. I, we, they, you. When we are talking about more than one person, one animal or one thing, then we will use have. When we will use have, beta? When we are talking about more than one person, one animal or thing, then we will use have. For example, we have flowers. We have flowers. Now here we are talking about so many persons. Na? We means, what is the meaning of we? We means so many people, right? So that is why we have used have. We have used have. We have flowers. So, I hope you all have understood where to use have and where to use has. So, now let's do one worksheet which is related to has or have. Can you see this worksheet? Everyone just tell me, can you see this worksheet? Okay, now we will do this worksheet and we will read the sentences one by one and we will discuss the answers. So, our first sentence is I dash many friends. Our first sentence is I dash many friends. So, here we are talking about I. Here we are talking about I. So you all remember na, that which word we will use with I? Yes, the correct answer is have. So our correct answer is I have many friends. Our correct answer is I have many friends. Now come to the second sentence. We dash a big house. We dash a big house. Here we are talking about so many persons, na? Here we are talking about so many persons. So that is why we will use have. Very good. That is why we will use have. So our correct answer is have. We have a big house. We have a big house. Now come to the third sentence. Spring dash six crayons. Spring dash six crayons. Now who is spring? Spring is a name, na? So here 
here we are talking about only one person now. Huh? So that is why we will use has. Very good. That is why we will use has. So our correct answer is has. Spring has six crayons. Spring has six crayons. Now come to the next sentence. A rabbit dash long ears. A rabbit dash long ears. Now here we are talking about how many rabbits? Yes, we are talking about only one rabbit. So what we will use? Yes, the correct answer is has. A rabbit has long ears. A rabbit has long ears. Now come to the next sentence. Do you dash a balloon? Do you dash a balloon? So here which word is used? You right? So everyone just think who is the friend of you? Yes you are absolutely correct. Here we will use have. So our correct answer is do you have a balloon? Do you have a balloon? Now come to our last sentence. This bird dash red wings. This bird dash red wings. So here we are talking about only one bird, right? Here we are talking about only one bird. So when we are only talking about only one bird, when we are only talking about one person, one animal or one thing, then what we will use? Yes, we will use has. So our correct answer is this bird has red wings. This bird has red wings. So we are done with the worksheet and I hope this worksheet is clear to everyone and do more and more practice of has and has. It will help you. So keep practicing and stay safe. Bye-bye.